Please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm Zuzu Gruskin. And I'm her brother, Ray Gruskin. We have a great show planned for you today. To start off, we have Axel, a story on Axel, and then Sebastian live with track. What else do we have? That's right. We also have Annika live with choir in the studio and Sinead on the Magic Window giving us some study hacks for finals. That and more. It sounds like it's going to be a great show. Once again, I'm Zuzu Gruskin. And I'm Ray Gruskin. And CHS TV starts, starts right, right now. now. Welcome back. To start off today's show, we have a story on Axel, a baseball player here at Carlsbad. Let's roll the piece. I got into baseball when I was three years old, and I got in because of my older brother. The difficulties have been not always being the best, you know? And I don't know, it's kind of a hard question to answer. Uh, having bad coaches. I mean, there be no other boost, damn it. Despite being a freshman, Axel Raniak received one of the highest honors as a yeah. baseball player. Mom, boost, damn it, so kid, come on. Oh wow, I just made, I just made varsity. Uh, it was, it was a, a crazy thought to have in my head to be on varsity as a freshman. Thanks for the hand sign, Torn. I actually like already throwing it back this way. <laughs> Over the past 12 years, nothing has been quite like baseball for Axel. I've always really liked it since. I, when I first started, and I never really thought about playing another sport. I don't really have any interest in other sports. But with the fame of playing on varsity as a freshman, it comes with a lot of commitment. I think playing on varsity as a freshman will uh, definitely going to get me better because I'm playing with older kids that are better than most kids my age. In the end, it's all about the friendship for Axel. Being out on the field with my friends and just playing. That's eight, but like... He had five, so. Despite being moved down to JV for a portion of the season. Hey, num number three right here, or what? Axel still has a lot of time left in his high school career and further. With photojournalist Max Harris. So it's just been easy going for you? For the most part, yeah. I'm Cash Versailles. Thank you, Cash and Max, for that piece. Attention Lancers, if you're a sophomore signed up for the AP US History, please be sure to stop by and see Mr. Isbell at lunch on Tuesday, May 23rd through Friday the 26th to pick up your summer assignment. Room number is 8106. In addition to picking up your assignment, please be sure to also pick up a textbook from the library. Fundraiser today at Beach City Smoothie is from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Be sure to mention you're with ASB when you order. For our first break in the announcements, we have Sebastian live with Track and Field. Sebastian, take it away. Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm Sebastian Sanders, and I'm here with some members from Track and Field. So real quick, guys, let's go through. And uh, what competitions will you guys be running in? I'll be running the 4x1, 400, and 4x4. 4x4? Four. Four four? You're running the 4x8? Four 4x8. Four yeah, 4x8 four and 4x4. Four four. All right, so I heard you guys have a big competition coming up tomorrow. Uh, where will that be, and who will you guys be competing against? It'll be at Mount Carmel, and we're going to be going against D1 and D2 and D3 schools. Awesome. And how can people come out to support, and uh, how much will tickets be uh, to attend the race? Yeah, so it'll be at Mount Carmel. It's happening all day long. Uh, ticket is $10 for adults and $5 for students. Perfect. Good luck, you guys. And uh, Kane, it's a big, big race tomorrow, so what is the goal for you guys? Um, our goal is to just qualify for state in the end. Awesome. And if you guys do qualify, what will the uh, outcome be for that? We'll be able to, in a couple weeks, go to the state tournament up in Clovis and compete to be the best in the state. Well, congratulations, you guys. Good luck on the race tomorrow, and I hope you guys make it to state. I'm going to send it back to the anchors at the desk. Thanks, Sebastian. CHS Peer Tutoring is now available in the library for students struggling in all academic subjects. 
If you're interested, visit the library from 7.25 a.m. to 8.25 a.m. on Mondays and Fridays and 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Visit the counseling website for more info. Are you looking for volunteer hours? The Shine Project Foundation is looking for volunteers at their field day. It'll be held on May 27th and supports families with special needs. Reach out to the link on the graphic for more information. Next up, we have Annika live in the studio with choir. What's up, Annika? What's up, Carlsbad? I'm coming to you live with a couple of our CHS choir members. So I hear you guys have an upcoming event. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, it's our last show of the year. Um, we have one tonight at 7 o'clock, and then we have two shows tomorrow. One is at 2, and then our senior night is going to be the 7 o'clock show. Make sure you show up for that, Lancers. And can you tell me a little bit about the type of songs you guys are going to be singing tonight? Yeah, we're including a Beatles medley. We're doing a lot of pop music, and we're including both of our competition sets from this year. That sounds super great. And where can people buy tickets for this? So you can buy tickets at chscoral.com or at the door before the show. They're going to be $15 for adults and $10 for the student ID. And I think to get people excited for tonight, we need a little preview for this event. So let's get a preview. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. All right, Lancers, make sure you show up tonight for more. Thanks, Annika, and thank you, choir, for that amazing demonstration. Lancers, the 2023 heart screening is for ages 12 to 25. The screenings include a cardiac risk assessment, EKG, cardiologist consultation if indicated, and a limited echocardiogram. The screening takes less than an hour and is painless. Visit the link on the graphic to register. The City of Carlsbad, in partnership with the U School, are giving high school students living in Carlsbad the opportunity to participate in the Carlsbad Student Leadership Academy this spring. Over 300 students have par participated in this interactive academy through the years. Go to the link on the graphic to register. The program is free and is a great addition to your resume or college applications. Now we're going to have Elsa live with the CEF leadership on the couch. Elsa, what's up? Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm Elsa Woolsey, live with Isa from the CEF Student Leadership Council. So Isa, what is the Student Leadership Council? The Student Leadership Council is through Carlsbad Educational Foundation, and they're a program that meets once a month that teaches different leadership traits and teaches how to become a better leader. And they do this through different readings and different things like that. But the best part is that we have leaders from throughout the community come in every month and give a speech and talk about and answer questions about their leadership journey. And these are people throughout the entire community. We've had the mayor, we've had small business owners, firefighters, people in lots of different fields come and talk about their journey. And so this is a a really great program and it's a really great way to learn new leadership skills. That sounds great and why should people be involved? People should be involved because they not only become a better leader but they can also become a better person for the community to raise up the community and be able to help with anything the community needs. Yeah and then where can I find applications and when are they due? The applications are on the Carlsbad Educational Foundation website. They're a Google form. It's just a couple questions where you talk about your extracurriculars, your journey as a leader, things like that. And it's a really quick form that you can submit by May 31st. And is there anything else you want to add? Yeah, so we have a leadership event. It's our Learning to Lead Capstone event for the end of the year, and it is on May 25th at 7 in the Dove Library, and it is a really great event. It's panel style, where we're going to have student panelists, and then we're also going to have panelists from throughout the community, from different small businesses and nonprofits, and this event is really great if you're talking about the different things that you've done. That sounds amazing. Thank you for coming on, Isa and Carlsbad. Make sure to check it out. Thanks, Elsa. Looking to grow your leadership skills? The Carlsbad Ed Foundation is now accepting applications from all who are interested. Carlsbad students who will be in grades 9 through 12 next year apply via the link shown on the graphic. 2023 graduation lays and kikui beads are now available for pre-order from www.lancerdancers.com. High schooler lays will need to be picked up from the CHS football field ticket booth area between 10 and 12 p.m. the morning of graduation on June 9th. Did you know that you can log into Schmoop through your Clever dashboard? Here you can access a wide variety of resources to assist you with study skills, essay writing, resume building, and many other helpful resources. Next up, we have Bree Ringwalski reporting live in front of the ASB room talking about a fundraiser going on tonight. Bree? 
about it. I'm Brie reporting live via DeGero here at the ASB room to give you guys some information on the CHS fundraiser happening at Beach City Smoothie in the Village. It will be taking place today between 8 a.m. and 7 p.m. So make sure if you want to join, make sure that you say that you are part of the CHS ASB and make sure to come out and support Lancers. Thank you, thank you Brie. For our final break in the announcements, we have Sinead on the Magic Window giving us some upcoming study tips for finals. Sinead? Good morning, Carlsbad. That's right. I am here on the Magic Window to give you some tips for finals because, as you know, they are coming up in the next two weeks. So first and foremost, make sure that you are not procrastinating. I know that for most of us, we've got about three or four finals. Some even have six. So make sure that you are not um, leaving it to the last minute and you start studying now so that you have enough time for, to study enough for every single final. And for our first tip, it's to write in blue ink. So basically, your notes, if you write them in blue ink, it'll help you remember them better. Uh, next, um, according to the study by Penn State, if you chew the same flavor of gum that you chewed while you were studying for the first time during the test, <laughs> um, you'll remember it better. And then finally, if you eat blueberries, it'll help you remember better. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Sinead. Next up, we'll take a sneak peek at a story about a high schooler and his furry friend. Well, in Nazi's free time, he mostly sleeps, but sometimes he goes for walks or he plays fetch or just eats food. And Carlsbad, this was my first and last time anchoring with my sister right here. What's going through your head right now? Um, it was super <laughs> bittersweet and I'm so really happy that we did it. Yeah, you're happy. Okay. Well, thank you, Carlsbad. <laughs> thank you guys for watching, and we'll Bye. see you guys next time.